इस पे क्लिक करना तो आपको नए वाले दिखे Hey guys, welcome to the session. Good evening. So we have gathered today. Hi, welcome all of you. Good evening. Hey guys, so board exam is near, right? Okay. So guys, ah, uh, in this session, what we are gonna do is we are gonna try to dissect the chapter life processes for grade eleven, ah, uh, grade ah uh, ten biology, and we are gonna try and understand what things we should or we must. uh study so that we can score good in our exams right so let us get into the chapter and while we will be discussing the chapter we'll be discussing a few tricks and tricks okay so you are free to ask something if you want to and i will try my best to engage uh, with all of those okay so should we dig in the chapter okay great great okay so first of all what are the topics that are covered in this chapter so life processes we know first we have to understand what's life and what are the processes that takes place in life right so we have to study four processes nutrition respiration excretion and circulation what in nutrition you must know the differences between autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition very important guys because certain times you might be asked directly about the differences then you must be able to tell about photosynthesis in plants you must know the difference between the light reaction and the dark reaction you must be knowing about the stomata and its opening the structure of the guard cells okay because that is very important further the experiments the experiment for uh, the carbon dioxide is very important that may be asked at any point of time in the examination why cactus can take plant co2 at night because there are stomata see stomata are closed but that doesn't mean that there won't, won't be any diffusion happening right okay let's come to heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition obviously the organisms uh, we'll be talking about organisms which cannot make their own food right so you must be knowing about amoeba certain times what they ask is they simply ask you to ex uh, explain the nutrition in amoeba in detail so you must be able to draw the diagrams and explain it someone is asking what is the difference between light and dark reactions light reactions are uh, are a set of reactions that happens in the presence of sun okay so sun's energy is absorbed and uh, it sets up a uh, a series of chemical reactions that's light so light is required it's light dependent whereas the dark reaction does not require light we are not going into details of the topics because this is this uh, session is only to acquaint you with what you must be knowing okay uh, as you can know we have our separate exam prep classes where you will you get a detailed insight of these topics then when coming to respiration you must be aware about aerobic and anaerobic uh, respiration very importantly both lactic acid and ethanol certain times people are confused i have seen students being confused between ethanolic and lactic acid fermentation and this leads to a problem they they uh, lose their marks over this lymphatic system are the not important uh, much you should know what is lymph because yes you will be dealing with circulatory system but not in detail as compared to the heart and the blood vessels we'll come to that don't worry coming to the human uh, human respiratory system lungs sorry uh, okay so you must be aware of, uh, aware of the structure of the lungs very important uh, that it's uh, it has two then you must be aware about the alveoli how it works it has rich capillaries so the basic functioning you don't need to get into the detail but the basic function chris ethanol is in chemistry but ethanolic fermentation is important yeast makes ethanol uh, out of respiration right thank you pranav great so uh, well the integration with the circulatory system is very important so how the respiratory and circulatory system come together to do the exchange of gases very great vedant so the circulatory system moves the blood around the respiratory system provides the oxygen and hence the entire body gets the oxygen because of the circulatory and and respiratory system working together ascent of sap are uh, well in uh, you should be knowing a bit about ascent of sap not uh, not in detail 
limb formation that is not required for CVSC boards. Then transports, you must be aware of xylem and phloem. And in the phloem section, yes, you must be knowing about the ascent of sap, translocation, but you don't need to know that in detail. You should know the structure of xylem and phloem per se, the four components of xylem, the four components of phloem. Shubham, uh, please refresh the browser at your end. That is the reason that uh, it's getting uh, blocked up. Now transport, very important guys, the structure of the heart blood vessels blood uh, cells and lymph very important guys uh, it's asked the difference between arteries and veins in the last year question paper which we are going to discuss in some time they asked the difference between arteries and veins you must be no, uh, you must know about that uday see you don't need lymph what you need to know that lymph is also a fluid that has much role in uh, circulation of fats it has roles in circulation of certain immune cells. In detail, you don't need to uh, be knowing limb. Further, you can get in touch with the classes. There we can talk in detail about it. Yes, the two waves, the AV wave, the atrioventricular wave, and the semilunar waves. You should be aware of that. It is asked, what, what, what is the importance of the waves? In the excretory system, you must be knowing about the structure of the kidneys. Now, structure doesn't mean the internal structure, only the external bean-shaped morphology. Nothing inside. You don't need to know the inside. Yes, you should be able to understand about the nephron. What in the nephron? You should be able to understand the glomerulus, the malphigian tubules, the PCT, DCT, and the Henle's loop. Just the parts not in depth renal artery and renal vein thank you uh, ak that's a very great suggestion yes renal artery and vein and last time the question was asked that, uh, to draw the excretory system in humans and i have seen people doing a very minor mistake remember that the left side of kidney is a bit lower in position because of the presence of come on answer me complete my sentence here the left side is lower because of the presence of dash a liver right so make sure when you're drawing the excretory system you don't mess that up because you might end up losing marks yes sonia that's correct now excretion in plants mainly here you need to know about the stomatas stomata and its function that's it not much in the detail okay now so what are the theory based questions that are generally targeted in the uh, board exams a broader understanding of parts very important a broader understanding that means you don't need to know the details of the uh, hard a very uh, accurate or fine detail of the um, liver no what you need to know is a broader understanding what is the function of the valves what are the function of the atrium and ventricles why the ventricle wall is thick such questions will be asked or can be asked okay so a broader understanding not in-depth mechanisms not required now questions concerning any of the systems so they can ask basically anything on the in the four systems be prepared for that okay Uday, i am not i think the video will be here don't no worry but this is a live class happening so uh let's try to make best out of it now Practical based questions. The board prescribes two important practicals for uh, the CBSC grade 10, and that is the temp preparing a temporary amount of leaf and the carbon experiment with the carbon dioxide, right? So these two experiments should be on your tips. Okay. And these two experiments should be on your tips, and you should be able to uh, do certain uh, deviations with that as we will be doing in the questions that we are going to practice. Now, these are the questions which appeared in the last board's paper. Okay, let's go ahead and try to uh, answer them. So mention any two components of blood. Can I have can I have answer from you? Yes, please try and uh, give me the answer for the two components of blood. And yes, some of you are very correct. Uh, excuse my stylist for a messy handwriting and partly me, the plasma and the blood cells. 
Now you should be aware that blood cells are three in number, RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. Platelets are blood fragments and not whole cells. Plasma comprises the fluid part, the non-cellular part. Great, great. You, you guys are preparing well, but make sure you don't lose on these things. I, I will have I will tell about diagrams. So I'm just uh, have patience. We'll discuss how to uh, curate diagrams for boards. Now, the uh, movement of oxygenated blood very important. You have you should be able to trace the entire movement of the blood. So deoxygenated blood goes to right atria, right atrium from right atrium to. Come on, complete me. Right ventricle from right ventricle to through pulmonary arteries to the lungs back after oxygenation in the left atrium and after that goes to the left ventricle from the left ventricle via aorta is distributed through the entire circulatory system you guys are doing great so remember the entire flow you should be able to depict this flow via diagrams via flow charts or via any other uh, ways if asked someone has asked what's a septum septum is the wall that divides the atria atria right so the two atria have a septa in between the two ventricles have a septa in between okay cool uh kamal i cannot explain the entire circulatory system right now i'm here to right now the session the motive session is to give you a gist of what you should expect in the board that is why I'm not dealing in questions in detail. Osmoregulation is basically the sum of processes that maintains a near about constant concentration of solutes in your body. Okay. Now, function of valves present between the atria and ventricles. So we know that atria contract and that pushes the blood from the atria to the ventricle. But when ventricles contract, if there are no valves, the blood will backflow into the atria we don't want that happening that is why we have these veils we have the av veils that prevent the backflow of the blood from the ventricles to the atria okay am i going too fast guys okay great uh okay so now structural differences between the composition of artery and veins so we know arteries and veins have three essential layers the inner one is endothelium right the middle one is the smooth muscle and the outer one is come on complete me the connective tissue great right so the middle layer or the smooth muscle is very thick in arteries and that is why that is the exact thing that allows the pulsation that we can feel if you press your hand against the next to the thumb that throb, the pulse that you're feeling is because of the thick, smooth muscle that is there in the arteries. So this question was asked for five marks straight away. Next, we have ex define excretion, right? So what is excretion? Excretion is basically elimination of metabolic waste from our body. Name the basic filtration unit present in the kidney. We all know that the uh, unit of kidneys is nephron. Draw the excretory system in human beings and label the following objects. Now, guys, this is very important. Whenever you draw a diagram in your board papers, make sure that you have boxed it. Okay. Draw a very neat box around it. Make sure you have labeled it. In this question, we can see that the last question, the subpart C, carries at least three marks right so there must be at least at least four labelings in your diagram they have asked only three but if you know uh so in this case they have only asked three so no need to label more don't do extra do only what is required in the paper make sure you give it a title always title your diagrams in biology or in any science subjects that you're drawing or in any diagram that you're making title the diagram for example here you can say excretory system in human beings okay see there are no direct five marks question uh devadeep the questions generally have sub parts and then you break it up like that okay cool now let us try to uh 
practice this question that appeared in the practical se uh, section of the paper. Prepare a temporary amount of leaf peel to observe stomata. So how do we do that? We take the leaf, we cut it out, and we try to peel the thinnest layer from the underneath. We place this uh, peel, peeled off layer on a slide with the help of glycerin. We observe it by using a compound microscope, right? And we, you must know the difference between a compound and simple microscope. It's a question that is frequently asked by practical examiners in your uh, practicals. Okay, yes, the dye that we are going to use is saffronine because it stains the cell wall so that we can easily trace the cell walls. It's not difficult, Shubham, at all. Believe me, it's not. Okay, so this question is asked for two marks. Why we use glycerin? Because that uh, improves the visi uh, visibility of uh, under the microscope. Okay. Now, name a com. Uh, this these questions that we are now discussing are from the sample paper. That means the sample paper that was recently released by the CBSC. Okay. Systolic and diastolic pressure. Systole is the contract stage of heart ad and diastole is a relaxed stage of heart so systolic pressure is the pressure that you feel when the heart is uh, contracting which is 120 mm of hg diastolic pressure is the pressure that you feel when the heart is at relaxed stage which is 80 mm of, of hg that is 120 over 80 okay now Name a common nutrient that is absorbed in the small intestine and reabsorbed by kidney tubules. We know that the nutrient that is absorbed in the intestine is glucose and the same is absorbed back in the kidney tubules because the glucose gets filtered in. That means via glomerulus and the Bowman's capsule, glucose is filtered in. It's present in the filtrate and it's valuable for us. So glucose is absorbed back. Great. It was asked for one marks. Sweet tooth may lead to tooth decay. Why, what is the role of toothpaste? Toothpaste, they contain fluoride ions. Right? So fluoride ions are a major um, um, prevention of cavity cavities because they kill bacteria. Amino acids cannot be a very correct answer. The reason is in our blood, generally amino acids are present as proteins. Proteins do not enter the filtrate. They are filtered out. They, are, they remain in the blood because of the Bowman's capsule. So it's better that you answer glucose and not the proteins. That is a chemical process. Uh, anamica, KOH and carbon dioxide. Right. Now a variegated leaf with green and yellow patches. Now we know variegated leaves have different colored patches. Yeah, uh, green and yellow. Why that happens? Because of the distribution of chlorophyll that is there in certain parts. So certain parts have chlorophyll which are green, certain parts do not have chlorophyll and they might have some other pigments, some carotenoids. That is why they are yellow or uh, orange, right? So that is why the part which has chlorophyll will synthesize glucose and convert it into starch and will appear positive for the iodine test whereas those which are yellow will not synthesize starch and will not appear positive for the uh, iodine test right so what will be the color of a a has green portions it will give positive hence it will turn blue black uh, Rajat, I'm not ignoring you. I'm picking the most beneficial out so that all the students here can benefit from that. Okay. Now, B, the yellow portions do not have chlorophyll. They can't synthesize starch. Hence, they will not give the blue-black color. Now, they have asked about the equation of photosynthesis. And guys, by this time, you must be having this equation on your tips. Very important. OK, so these are questions that appeared in the sample paper. And the last one that we are discussing is a practical question that appeared in the sa uh, sample paper. CO2 is released during respiration. We have this experiment. And if you guys remember the CO2 experiment, it was something like this, right? There were moon seeds. And a KOH flask was hanging right here. The KOH flask absorbed the carbon dioxide released 
and that is why from the other beaker the level went down right but if the koh flask is not there then no carbon dioxide will be absorbed in no if no carbon dioxide is absorbed then you will see bubbles in this solution there will be no difference in the levels and there will not be any um, you know uh, uh, lessening of the level of uh, sorry level of the uh, uh, liquid there okay oh amar quite late my dear okay so now that we have practiced questions here are a few tricks and trips that you must and must make sure that you follow in the exams while you're answering make sure your paper is neat and clean do not at any cost make um, rough and off your sheet write clearly write crisply those of you who don't have a good handwriting please practice beforehand make sure your paper is very neat and clean practice all the diagrams if you are drawing a diagram title it give it a title first thing make sure you label properly all the labels should be on the one side of picture don't label haphazardly labels should be on one side of the picture follow mark plus one scheme what is mark plus one scheme let's say the question is of three marks make sure you have at least written four points there if it's a difference based question they have asked you ask you write the differences between this and that if it's a two marker difference based question write at least four differences at least write one example each make sure you have drawn a line between them answer the diagrams answer the questions with diagrams and flow charts very important people if you have a long question a three marker or four marker question you are free to draw diagrams and flow charts for example not in this chapter in this chapter you might be asked about the deoxygenated blood circulation oxygenated blood circulation like we just practiced a question so when such things happen you have to draw flow charts okay do not forget to revise very important once you think yes they don't just ask labeling they might ask you more even if but you have to title it okay guys see the it's better that you try to understand this mark plus one's divash is simply you write points at least more than the number of marks okay next guys uh practice questions from the question max many people don't do this they think that they have studied all and that will suffice but no it doesn't there are certain questions that might be even repeated uh, anamika no you don't need to write six points you can write uh maybe um four or five points in this case write five points at least write five points and yes do give an example see flow charts increase the readability of your answer if i am looking at a flow chart i understand the process very correctly okay i understand the process very well so i don't have to uh, read through it very uh, in a very intricate manner so do use flow charts so this is all that is there from my side and in the classes when you come from exam pros and examples we are going to help you more into cracking your boards exam and making sure that you gain a perfect 100% right okay you can further join us uh, in the special classes that we host for uh, the preparations where we can where we give you certain suggestions where we revise certain topics and where we make sure that all the topics that you need is covered okay okay guys so that it was a fun session having with uh, you all and make sure that you come in the subsequent sessions that we'll be hosting for chapter wise they will be discussing more about this chapter specific questions and others that that are needed no don't only use a flow chart also substantiate it with sentences okay cool bye guys all the best and make sure that you get 100 uh, marks in your exams bye bye